Hey everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to do a journal flip through but before I do I just wanted to quickly share with you guys the, oops sorry, I just wanted to move the camera just up a little bit. So these journals sitting up top of this box here are the journals that I completed in 2018. Um, I did do a journal flip through on this one here. I didn't complete this one. I've completed that one, that one, and this one here is the one that I'm currently working in, which I will do an update video on that. So I thought I'd share that with you guys because I do have a lot of journal flip throughs to get through. So um, hopefully that's not a bad view right there. Um, so I'm going to start off basically on the 1st of April um, this day we bought a um, a pretty expensive bike for a very decent price so the bike was worth over $400 and we got it for $80 and we got it tw uh, delivered for 20 so um, we're really happy with that it's just on a local website so um, here I drew this I've pretty much copied it from a drawing um, channel like on YouTube and I colored it in cut it out and pasted it there um, I haven't read through this like I've stuck sticky notes in places where um, private stuff is and yeah I haven't read through it or anything I just kind of scanned through everything so here I tried to do a bit of a um, unicorn theme using this uh, unicorn washi which I absolutely love um, and yes yeah, just these sticky notes here I've just covered private stuff I uh, love this washi here which I got from Officeworks um, quite expensive but um, absolutely love it um, and I used a lot of die cuts a lot of stickers um, so these were from a um, from a craft collection from the reject shop Again, just not very decorative. Um, I have to say that I am becoming a little bit more creative in my journals. Um, so a lot of these, again, from the Reject Shop collections. Um, but these things, uh, these ones here, they're from Kaiser Craft. So basically, I was just talking about my daughter. Um, she was like when she was born I had her during Cyclone Larry and um, yeah I was just writing about birth because it was very unusual when you have a cyclone coming and you're about to give birth and you don't know exactly what's going to happen um, it becomes more frightening so um, basically we knew that there was a cyclone out there and we knew that it was quite intense. We didn't exactly know whereabouts on the coast it was going to cross. Um, and then when we found out exactly when it was going to cross and whereabouts, it was pretty much, um, you know, that time where I woke up and I was starting to have contractions. So um, that was pretty scary. So here, uh, I skipped some pages private that's when I basically started work here this is when I started getting into uh, desert roses I have so many of them I've got some rare ones as well uh, this day here we went for a road trip up to the tablelands and um, we went swimming at a lovely creek that we'd never been to and pretty much I was putting glued down these um, <clears throat> die cuts here just describing the um, the creek it was just so beautiful so serene so tranquil um, school holidays started so basically I just started writing what whatever we were doing um, some of it I didn't date um, I did a bit of an owl theme here used up some skateboard stickers as well and I love the washi tape I really like that layout. Um, so a lot of the washi tape that I do have comes from AliExpress and these stickers too also come from AliExpress. 
those ones as well. This one here was a die cut that I got um, from AliExpress. More stickers again from AliExpress, except for these ones here. They're from uh, Lincraft. Uh, this was market day. So we have markets that um, they're just up the road from us. So Saturday morning, not you know, you wake up nice and early and you go for a stroll down there because it's that close. You just walk down there. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I love the markets. I'm just one of those people. I like to stroll through. Except some people sell like brick and brack. So expensive. It's like, I don't know. I don't see why people uh, charge an arm and a leg for some things like a lady was selling um, some crafting items and she had some project life cards and I know they're super 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 expensive but I mean she was selling them for about 15 bucks for I don't know probably 20 of them I thought that was just silly so this day here, Anzac Day, um, this was the day that we got our bicycle stolen. Not a very nice thing to wake up to, knowing that someone's come onto your property and stolen your property. So um, I had to call the police on that, but I knew they couldn't do anything about it, but I thought I'd just give them a ring anyway. Um, unfortunately, I didn't write down the uh, serial numbers from the bike. So, um, with all the other bikes, I've written down the serial numbers. I've also written down the serial numbers on our, like, um, our iPads and, um, oh, what do they call, uh, the laptops, um, anything that, you know, you can kind of identify as your own. So, basically, that was the first time that we had anything pinched or flogged from us, ever. Uh, this washi tape here came from Officeworks. I really like that green. This picture here I drew from, again, um, one of the uh, drawing YouTube channels. Coloured it in and cut it out, pasted it there. And I've been using up some of the um, Alpha stickers as well. Trying to get through all my stash because I have a lot of it and yeah so uh, this here is just basically cut out from a magazine and I have been doing a lot of journaling a lot different to this now I've started to become a lot more creative um, just because um, you know I love decorating and all of that but I really need to get through stuff because I, I'm trying to limit myself in buying you know new stuff um until i've kind of used up a lot of my other stuff that i have i've got a massive journal stash so this here i cut out from just the catalog stuck it in there i don't know a lot of people are using magazine clippings and all that so i thought i'd do the same as well which is a really good idea so uh this picture here this is actually of port douglas lovely so my sister got married um on uh, at Port Douglas on the beach somewhere along here I don't know um, so that's Four Mile Beach and I cut that out from a magazine using a lot of floral um, die cuts using up some uh, journal cards that I've got I've got like thousands of them thanks to Project Life uh, Tim Tam's wrapping, I just stuck it in there. I don't really have much to say <laughs> about it. <laughs> but guys, my battery is getting flat. So um, I'll just quickly flip to... Okay, let's go the 12th of May. So we will continue on from there in my next video. Guys, thank you so much for hanging around. Um, please subscribe uh, for more content like this. I do hauls, um, well not many hauls, but um, a lot of journal flip throughs and I have loads to get through. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. Bye now.